how has it been dealing with this past year? Well, it's, you know, the wonderful thing is, it's passed. This was the disturbing image plastered across the UK's Daily Mirror. Nigella getting choked by her now ex-husband, Charles Saatchi. Lawson left, but Janae Rice stayed. I know so well from what's written about me in papers that often it bears very little resemblance to what's happening or it somehow people have views. Nigella is now all about The Taste, which averaged 3.7 million viewers last season, more than double the viewers as Top Chef. The UK kitchen goddess joins fellow mentors slash judges, renowned chefs Marcus Samuelson, Ludo Lefebvre, and Anthony Bourdain. We know him as the adventurous world taster, and he was ready to shock my senses. This is the single worst thing I've ever had in my mouth, and I'm gonna give you just a whiff. I'm gonna be very kind to you. Do not eat this because it's truly, you can clear an auditorium with it. Just take a whiff. Oh God. <laughs> and it literally made me sweat. You guys aren't shy with flavors, I like that. Now, what makes the taste different from other competition food shows is that they taste everything blindly to pick their teams, kind of like The Voice does. And this season, they are creating themed restaurants from around the world. These are the dishes prepared by the mentors' teams. I am about to taste them blindly. First up, Team Bourdain. Mm. Next, Team Marcus. Mm. That was like a potato salad. Now Ludo's on the spot. That was my least favorite. Finally, Nigella's turn. Mm. Oysters. The winner is... Team Marcus. Oh, uh, damn! I'm not, sure you, I'm not sure you have a palette, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, bitter party of one. Anytime. Don't go back. Don't go back. Anytime. 